Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Apa uh, kajian tu kan? Eh? Waalaikumsalam. Okay, Pak Ali Matul, dah tema mungkin lambat sikit sebab dekat keluang sekarang tengah ribut penting. Okay. Uh, uh, ni kita nak tunggu pakai sepalai masuk ke ataupun kita just nak proceed je? Hmm. Kejap eh. Ha. <laughs> 12 orang. Uh, nak mula ataupun pun boleh kot Dr. Nick. Ha, so Adi ada recorded kan? Uh, uh, ada recorded dan kita dah stream turun ke YouTube sekarang ni So nanti lepas ni kalau siapa yang tak dapat join daripada awal Dia boleh tengok dekat YouTube nanti Ha uh, okay okay Raja So kita proceed lah sebab saya rasa participant tak sabar-sabar nak share dia orang punya script <laughs> So Assalamualaikum pagi uh, Selamat petang semua uh, Rasanya semua dah uh, makan dah siap masak-masak semua kan So dan uh, dah uh, uh, dah pun kata dah siap uh, design your own script. So now it's your turn. Uh, before we share our our talk about script, uh, let me hear from uh, participants on how you design your script. Ah, uh, time ni kita nak gelak sama-sama. Okay, uh, let's start with uh, Dr Azhar dulu daripada solat ya, eh, Dr Azhar. Ya, yeah, uh, Assalamualaikum Doktor Salam uh, Belum, uh, saya belum Doktor lagi eh, Belum lagi? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Saya, uh, belum uh, Saya sebenarnya uh, status sebagai guru bahasa Dekat oh, dekat solat, okay. School of Language Literacy and Translation uh, okay. Apa tadi yang pasal, apa skrip tadi kan? Uh, ha, script, script. script saya dah siapkan <laughs> untuk yang bahagian intro sebab dalam apa yang apa yang saya dipahamkan tentang uh, micro credential ni sebab dia ada intro dan last sekali kata outro so saya sediakan okay. untuk yang intro dulu alright ha, bo boleh bacakan tak Encik Azhar punya script tu ataupun nak share dengan oh. kita orang dekat sini uh, ok saya, uh, saya bacakan lah senang eh ni ni masa nak baca tu kan Tengok, tengok cermin. Ah. Handsome tak? Okay. Gain <laughs> confident. Confident juga. <laughs> okay, confident. Alright. Okay, confident. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. 안녕하세요. 여러분 잘 지내셨죠? 우리 마이크로 크리엔셜 프로젝트 참가해 주셔서 감사 말씀드립니다. Do you like to watch Korean drama? Do you like to watch? Uh, do you do, do you like to make Korean friends? Do you like to watch Korean drama without subtitles? Yes, you are in right path. Let's join me in 15 episodes in to learn simple and easy Korean language class. In this series of videos, we will learn easy conversation in Korean language, starting for beginner, which is include to know. Hunger, counting, self introduction, go for shopping, and so on. Very interesting, isn't it? Come, subscribe, and join me, and let's laugh, cry, and happy with your favorite Korean dramas, TV shows, and so on. Itu saja dah saya. Oh yo, mula mula tu saya tu ingat. Eh, ni cakap Korea pula lah ni. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Uh, loud, clear and orang kata ada dia punya pitching lah. Okay, bagus. Okay. Oh, boleh berjaya ni. Uh, okay, tak apa. Start lagi kita komen. Uh, kalau boleh tadi, okay. kalau apa, Encik Azhar boleh uh, on kan kamera, saya boleh tengok reaksi Encik Azhar terus cakap. Isn't it? Uh, macam tu, something like that, that, that acting uh, kan? Tapi okay. tak apa, dah, uh, dah, dah, uh. dah terlepas kan? Tak apa. Oh, okay. okay. Terima kasih. Okay, tak apa. Uh, terima kasih Encik Azhar. Dan uh, uh, let's hear from Dr. Aziatul. Azi, on camera nak tengok acting. Uh, Dr. Aziatul, ada ke kat sana? Okay, mungkin Dr. Azhar tak ada tu. Eh, kejap ya, saya dapat message daripada tema. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, sekejap ya, saya saya terima WhatsApp daripada Dr. Emma, dia nak masuk tak dapat. Uh, sekejap saya nak share link dengan dia sekejap ya. Itu Dr. Emma dah masuk dah. Okay, Dr. Emma. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank uh, you. Okay, Dr. Emma. Uh, actually, we just started. And Encik Azhar has uh, read their uh, script. A uh, quite oh, interesting la, la, la. script. A script in Bahasa Korea. Okay. <laughs> Mari ke sayo. Mari ke sayo. <laughs> sayo, sayo. Sayo tak masak lagi hari ni. <laughs> Alright. Mr. Azhar, Mr. Azhar Vicenzo. <laughs> okay, so um, maybe we can proceed because I calling for Dr. Azzi but Dr. Azzi is not respond. Might be we can proceed uh, by calling next uh, participant who is San, San Lim. Dr. Hui San Lim ke? Is that you? Dr. Hui San Lim. Are you there? Ada juga. Okay. Okay. Kita Let's check for the chat. Nah. Apa sih yang lain? Okay. Uh, line ni sih. Betul lah. Betul lah. Are you there? Ah uh, yeah. Okay, betul lah. Do you want to share your script? <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sure, you have interesting interest in script, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Well, I think let me think first. Uh, let me. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. I think. Uh, okay. I can. Can start now. Okay. Sure. Yep. You are ready. Uh, ah. Hey, uh, wait, 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 wait. Can, can you switch on the uh video? Uh, uh, your your not, camera. Not so camera nice. for that. No, 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 no. I'm not, not, not in the proper, <laughs> not in the proper what? Proper. Not in the proper way <laughs> now. <laughs> okay, okay, anyway, okay. I just start now. Okay. Okay, sure. Alright. Uh, uh, konnichiwa. Hi, minasan. Do desu ka? O genki desu ka, minasan? Ah, uh, hello. Atashi wa Eriko desu. Hello, how are you? This is... This is a uh, live. We are talking to you in Japanese. How interesting if you want to learn Japanese now, other than Koreans. Oh, so boy. if you want to, if you want to travel to Korea, if you want to travel to Japan now, why not just pick up a simple Japanese so you can travel without any translator or without any phone. So this is the way. So within this, uh, for, uh, this is a uh, can a uh, short lesson. We can introduce you how to travel in Japan. It's not a, so you can pick up some girl or you pick up some guys in Japan or travel some, get some nice food or how to ask the way so you don't lose in Japan. So in, in the 10 short course and then probably you will 
know more about so you can travel alone or you travel by group a small group in japan without as a foreigner in japan so after covid is over probably you can buy a cheap ticket at asia again that's all i hope you can uh, take lessons and probably enjoy yourself a tra as a travel in japan and enjoy your maybe hala food in japan so that's all thank you very much okay good thank you thank you okay, okay. good good okay next Yes. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, ja. Okay. Uh, this is like much um a little bit on introduction lah to this uh apa uh module. Doctor Maisura, pernah attend kita orang punya workshop ke? Ah, uh, pernah pernah. Ah, kan? Sebab saya ingat nama ni. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But still, uh, still nak kena improve <laughs> lot. Ni meaning that dah terror lah ni dah second time kan? Ni <laughs> tak tak tak. <laughs> okay. okay. So uh, for, for apa for the beginning kan? Uh, so uh, yeah. um, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Maizra Murad. And this module is about meeting consumer perceptions and expectation through sensory analysis. So the contents of this module, there are three. So first is factors influencing consumer decision to purchase products. So next is the uh, sensory evaluation as a tool for determining food uh, acceptability. And third is about sensory chef life or QC testing to keep consumer satisfaction with food products. So of course, um, as a consumer, uh, we, we, we are looking for a very good quality of food products. So we as the uh, food sensory analysis, yeah, we, we have to understand why consumer initially uh, purchase our products and why they purchase the product might be due to the uh, advertising or promotion by a company, a recommendation by their friends and relatives through their marketing promotion, social media, packaging designs, convenience, and also due to the brand uh, loyalty or reputations and price. I think that's all quite <laughs> <for> the <beginning. laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Baru. All right. Baru dah dengar lagi, 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 lagi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Dah tanya kita, kita, kita review sikit lah. Dulu, dulu, kita review dulu nak. Ah, okay, boleh, boleh. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, Dr. Lai, uh, apa ni kita review sikit lah boleh tak? Dr. Lai, your, your ni tadi. Boleh. Okay, alright. Uh, uh, I believe it is very interesting uh, subject because you are talking about Japanese language. And I found some, I found many interesting reasons why um, I should learn. However, um, uh, if you can put it, uh, nanti next time when you do the videos, everything, and when you when you want to do the title, make it um uh grabber attention grabber something like this. Uh, instead oh, of yeah. uh instead of something or like uh learning Japanese language, you might want to do like five simple language tricks to attract Japanese girlfriends. Ah, mm. macam tu. Kan? Okay. And then dekat bawah dia, dekat oh, the overview, the explanation tu, and uh, yang tu baru serious lah. We are going to learn uh, language is something, something, something. Then it's more, it's more serious lah. But, uh, hmm. you know, micro-credential videos, things like that kan. Uh, we want to attract people kan. So, make it the, ni lah. The, the title. Okay. okay. Uh, for Dr. Maizura, um, your <laughs> your title is very academic title okay okay good good law title and then i captured that there are three learning objectives inside there isn't it yes ah uh, so so basically you can do actually three videos ah uh, three videos seven minutes seven minutes seven minutes or ten minutes ten minutes uh. ten minutes seven videos only mm. uh, three videos comprised of one video one learning objective so that we do not cram everything and then um uh because uh, i think the title is quite long i cannot actually capture which one is which one is which one is which what 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 actually what what actually uh should i pay attention i just capture the consumer expectation but i cannot see why should enroll why should i enroll in your course 
So mm. maybe after this one, uh, make it like we have to think like uh, millennials. Why should I enroll in your course? Mm. Uh, itulah itulah my humble opinion lah. Uh. Uh, Doctor Emma, saya tambah sikit ya. Okay, okay. Uh, Dr. Lai tadi, dia tak, saya rasa dia tak intro dia punya diri kot Dia tak intro ha. Dia terus cakap Korea, saya tak faham Eh, terus cakap Jepun, sorry, sorry Baca nervous, saya, uh, saya uh, baca nervous Saya pun dah suka lah juga, dah suka, dah suka <laughs> Okay, so next time, uh, don't forget to introduce yourself first uh, I am Dr. Lai from School Source or uh, apa, Language, something like that So that people will know you later And then uh, okay. Dr. Maizura, saya rasa Dr. Maizura nervous kot bergetar-getar dengan suara <laughs> Okay Habis tu pas saya tak adalah, tak adalah laju sangat, okay dah tu Cumanya uh, dengar getaran di situ <laughs> Tapi okay, okay boleh improve lagi insyaAllah Okay saya pun laju juga bercakap <laughs> ha, Alright, okay So kita proceed dengan Nur Azam lah, Dr. Nur Azam Ramli Dr. Nur Azam ada kat situ ke? I'm here Okay, ready? Are you ready? Ya yeah. Ya, yeah, okay Okay, let's say for me, you are from school? I'm from civil engineering, if I want to show, kalau saya nak share satu video yang USM buat untuk saya Oh yes, please The same thing, ya? Eh? Ha ah. Oh, you, you have to share Um, dekat share tu ada wait, wait. Saya ada, share dekat HTPPS kat situ, nampak tak? Haa, okay, nampak Can, can, can Oh, if you want to share you Okay, boleh lah, boleh lah, boleh Boleh, boleh tak? Uh, orang lain boleh tengok kan lah Boleh yeah. Something like that is uh, of the of my interest lah Macam mana nak buat tak tahu Because yang, this one is uh, uh, Oh, that's the next side Wait, yeah. should, should I should I click the YouTube? Yeah. Ah, uh, I. Uh, the time. Ah, uh, boleh jah uh, ni share screen eh? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, share screen sebentar. Okay. Kau okay, yang ni dia tak ada uh, tak apa saya tengok. Okay, ni kan, ni kan uh, hadapi jerebu dengan tanah betul? Yeah. I tak sure dapat dengar ke tak, tapi maybe kita can see the video lah Okay Tak boleh dengar lah, tak ada, tak ada voice lah Tak, tu lah tak, tak dapat dengar Saya yang buka je saya dapat dengar <laughs> Boleh dengar lah Saya boleh, boleh dengar dekat YouTube Ya, yeah, saya rasa kalau buka kat YouTube dia laju Haa uh.
itu yang dilakukan di kerajaan juga di situ dulu. Spesial ini adalah tadi, tadi dan apa tadi kita 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 saya tuju. Dan ini yang kita boleh seperti kita kita boleh jadi boleh jadi pernah jadi seperti itu untuk kita kita lain untuk boleh guna untuk mengajar silkan. Untuk kita memberikan maklumat yang lebih terang dan jitu, terang terhadap apa yang kita yang kita lakukan dan juga apa yang kita lakukan. Eh, betul betul disebut dalam ini. Yang paling penting adalah kita yang duduk di dalam awal, yang penting untuk kita adalah kita semua perlu berjalan dan bekerja sama untuk kita dapat sampai. Keterangan yang lebih baik dalam kita satu itu menghadapi keadaan dan yang disebabkan oleh pembakaran yang satu di bentar semadat dan jika kita betul betul perkara ini boleh kita hadapi baik lagi perkara kita akan sampai kita akan lebih banyak lagi insyaallah. Okay doktor. Uh, okay. 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 Video tu, video tu dia tak ada banyak crawling kat bawah. Tu macam saya tengok video yang apa? Yang uh, both apa? Doktor uh, uh, kongsikan tadi ada perkataan kan juga wajah tu dia macam tu. Macam mana kita nak buat this type of apa uh, jenis yang macam ni maksud saya eh? Because uh, ah. <laughs> can you get I'm trying to say ya? Eh? Uh, okay. Prof, faham, faham, faham. Dia, uh, oh, eh, Nick, Nick nak du Nick dulu. Okay. Sekejap Prof, saya tengok video tadi kan. Saya perasan yeah. eye contact tu. Eye contact tak pandang audience pun. Sekejap saya tengok skrip kat bawah. Sekejap pandang atas. <laughs> Okay. Prof macam skrip, Prof macam skrip eh? Uh, ya, ya. Dia bukan, ah. dia bukan skrip. Saya tengok table tu. Ah, okay. Ah, so table. kalau kalau uh, biasa kalau kita orang, kita buat recording, kita tak tak pakai macam tu. Kita just pakai teleprompter. Which is kita boleh adjust kita punya uh, eye contact dengan audience. Meaning that kita pandang kamera tapi at the same time kita pandang, uh, pandang skrip dekat teleprompter tu. Ha, so tak ada lah nampak kita macam duduk bawah lepas tu pandang atas tak ada. Uh, and and uh, apa uh, video editing tu uh, kita boleh buat prof. Uh, in fact uh, lagi event daripada tu. Okey. Ah sebab okey. Hmm. Okey uh, macam ni prof uh, saya faham uh, prof punya apa ni require uh, request apa ni yang prof tunjuk tadi adalah lebih lebih kurang adalah bentuk berita macam orang interview kita and then kita cakap. But yeah, then exactly. what But what you want is about you delivering the message kan yeah. dalam yeah. Uh, macam dalam YouTube and you show things. Alright. Okay. That is why some students. Oh sorry. Uh -huh. Okay and uh, uh, basically the content that you have memang ada. You have the content. It just that the content dia tak nampak macam why should I tengok the video ah macam tu dia dia kalau macam micro credential video youtube video tu macam kita nak kena tanya content tu walaupun ada dia punya points however dia macam kita kena fikir balik kenapa nak kena student tengok benda ni ah uh, maybe uh, what is explosive things about uh, my content that student perlu tengok uh, that is in one lah and then about the setting and everything tu uh, untuk permulaan for beginner uh, prof boleh uh, boleh record Uh, kamera dekat depan uh, and then kita cakap. Kita cakap. Alright. Ya, yeah, then uh, can, can I apa uh, ni sikit kat situ. Boleh? Sikit hmm. uh, saya mencelah dekat situ because students always uh, dia ada comments dia mengatakan uh, kebanyakan pensyarah dia just tunjuk muka dia dan tunjukkan muka dia dan juga tunjukkan notes. Right, so dia rasa muka pensyarah tu ada kat situ lebih kurang macam 70-80% of the time. <laughs> So they don't want to see muka bersyarah, they want to oh. see something else. This is comment dia orang lah, genuine comment. So <laughs> saya, <laughs> faham tak apa, you get what I'm trying to say? Ya. Yeah. Faham, faham, faham. 
So they want to see something else, you know. So that's why I saya tunjukkan video tu just to get macam mana kita nak buat uh, things like that, you know. While we are talking, dia jadi macam laporan berita lah. Tapi actually uh, okay. it is a lecture and uh, it is more than looking at the face of the lecturer. Yes, I understand. Uh, betul. Masa first time we all Masa first time we all did the video, we thought that kalau masuk muka kita 100%, audience suka. Tapi lama-lama kita fikir, eh kita ni perasan sendiri sebenarnya tau. <laughs> lepas tu, lepas tu that's why I dengan Dr. Nick, kita orang macam, eh tak boleh macam ni lah. Uh, kita masuk muka kita awal. And then after kita cakap for 3 minutes, uh, katalah 3 minutes and then kita masukkan nota. Sub, kita ada layer nota. Tak, 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 tak. Lepas tu ada muka kita pula. And then dekat sebelah muka kita tu pula, kita ada macam tunjuk sebelah, 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 things macam tu. Uh, prof, that can be done. That can be done. And insyaAllah kita orang akan ajar benda tu. That can be done. And kalau misalnya tak boleh nak kita, Prof tak boleh <laughs> waktu sekarang because it is online. Nanti kita, kita memang nak buat yang face to face punya so that Uh, kita kita tengok tu kita tunjuk dekat seorang-seorang lah yang tu lagi best hmm. macam mana yeah. kita boleh masukkan item dekat sebelah-sebelah tu but yes it can be done boleh prof okay. nanti insyaallah kita buat yang tu uh, nanti prof punya 7 minit atau 10 minit youtube uh, akan lebih ada nota dengan interaktif ha. rather than our face dekat depan uh, prof ada juga komen macam tu yang prof saya rasa prof dah cukup handsome dah <laughs> Aduh, uh, okay Prof, uh, apa ni nanti dekat dalam kita punya video, kita juga boleh share kita punya uh, ada video, uh, okay. Uh, dalam video, ada video kita boleh masukkan. Uh, in fact, some students, uh, they ask about, uh, tak payahlah letak gambar lecturer tu besar-besar, kita letak je kecil. Uh, that one pun kita boleh resize. Uh, letaklah gambar kita kat atas tu kecil kan, video kita kat atas kecil. But then the background tu, kita buat video, kita masuk content and etc. Benda tu insyaAllah kita boleh buat nanti. Uh, InsyaAllah esok kita akan tunjukkan uh, how kita nak include all those things. Macam mana nak tukar background, macam mana nak kecilkan muka kita, macam mana nak jadikan kita nampak lagi handsome. Kan? Ha, dah handsome dah nak tambah handsome lagi. Dah cantik dah nak tambah cantik lagi. Nak nampak flawless and everything. Uh, that uh, orang kata uh, cosmetic things lah insyaAllah. Uh, by tomorrow kita boleh share lah that thing. In fact, Prof, uh, the, orang um, kata the introduction of your video tadi tu that 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 being called as a montage, that montage pun kita boleh buat. Uh, nanti Prof boleh buat uh, and orang um, kata uh, using your own brand. Okay, what's, uh, you, you can think uh, what's, uh, what is your tagline uh, dekat situ. Uh, contoh, contohnya kalau uh, uh, saya, saya buat tagline saya Islamic Social Finance for Social Good. Uh, maybe something yang catchy Prof boleh fikir untuk Prof punya tagline lah. Alright. Mm. Okay. So okay Prof, clear ke? Eh, tak ada. Ah. Ada putus kot? Ah putus. Okay, okay. Tak apa, tak apa. Okay. Boleh dengar tak? Tadi Hello? tak dengar apa? Tadi tak dengar. <laughs> dengar lah. Because Nilo, kalau... Ni Okey, kalau ha. kata saya baca yang macam uh, apa saudara kita yang berdua tadi, Cik Azhar ha. dengan Cik Lai kan? Right, uh, apa nama tu? Uh, you, uh, saudara Azhar, saudara Lai tadi, you sebut tentang uh, apa dia punya matter. Kalau kalau saya bacakan di sini, uh, pre-submission of EIA report procedure, screening and scoping for example ya. Yeah? Right, then uh -huh. they're very dry. Determine whether a proposed project is prescribed activity and how to determine the project falls under both schedules. The prescript, uh, prescribed activity is subjected to second schedule, right, and so on so forth. So, dia jadi, apa? Macam dry. Dia dry. Ya. Yeah. Uh. Uh, so, benda tu sepatutnya waktu saya bercakap yang saya, yang saya terfikir lah. Dia akan tunjukkan gambar banjir ke, you know, gambar, uh. you know, something like that lah. You know? Ya. Yeah. Uh. Kalau, kalau saya mengajar dekat, dekat dalam jawang kuliah, saya tekan aja benda tu. Dia akan tukar. But now kita hmm. belajar online, kita nak buat macam tu, student kita ada yang tak dapat catch up hmm. eh. Betul, betul. Hmm, betul. So dia tak dapat. Bila kita tukar tu, dia tak dapat apa yang kita cakap. Lepas a few minutes baru dia dapat. No, hmm. dia dapat hmm. lepas. That is a concern lah. Kan? Hmm. Betul, betul. betul. Hmm. Minta maaf saya ambil masa lama sikit. Terima kasih. Eh, no problem, no problem. We are glad you ask. <laughs> <laughs> Tapi kami agak dekilan lah bila tu dah tengok muka kita kan. 
<laughs> Sudah ni penat eh kan? kita ni. Kita okay. Baby ni. Alright. Kita boleh kita proceed kot. Eh, ha, ni. Ah, boleh, boleh ni Dr. Noliza Hani. Dr. Noliza, are you there? Dr. Nick, saya bukan uh, eh. anak peserta, saya di uh, CDAE. Oh, ya yeah, ke? <laughs> Kak, Kak Liza, Kak Liza. Oh, Kak Liza. Kot-kotlah Kak Liza nak share skrip juga ke? <laughs> <laughs> tak ada, tak ada. Continue, continue. Uh, alright, okay. Dr. Fiza. Dr. Fiza, do you want to share your skrip? Dr. Fiza is our from School of Management. One of the ah, bicycle juga. Not the visa, are you there? Tadi, tadi kau. Tadi kau visa mungkin ada ni kau class kau. Okay, not the Zraini. Ah, orang lagi not the Zraini. Ah, boy, best friend tak ada dengar ke? Nah. <laughs> okay, not the Zraini. I I think do you have uh, your script right? Uh, I think, okay, actually I'm more on the conventional type of teaching. Saya tak ada dah buat on real term preparation on video. I've been okay, sharing. Right. And that is more on the calculation, derivation. So, hmm. it's really on the script punya tu lah. It's more on the content and uh, I, I stay more on using my pen to, to paste macam tu lah. It's not oh. really. And I, I don't think it's, uh, my intention is to do the... Sure, not forget lah rasanya. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay tak apa. So, uh, Dr. Imah, kita nak share slide ke? Ah, uh, Kita share slide. Dr. Imah punya slide ke saya punya slide kat sini? Hmm, uh, boleh lah. Saya punya slide pun okay. Ah, uh, Dr. Imah punya lah sebab ada changes tadi kan? Ah, uh, Wait, dekat mana eh? <laughs> Where is my Dah tak jumpa pula Sekejap sekejap ya Dia Tak ada pula lah Nick Nick cuba Ada ya ah, Nick cuba Nick Oh, cok. Dah nampak tak my slide? Haa, ha. nampak viewing ni. Okay. Um. Tapi blank tak? Oh, Kosong blank. Lagi. Kosong lagi. Okay ke? Uh, masih blank. Mungkin akak boleh reshare kot. Alright. Okay. Let me reshare. Okay ke? Okay, nampak. Alright. <coughs> so basically, um, under if you want to do video or you want to do a uh, MOOC or micro credential, there are three uh, things. Three, three phases basically that we uh, should undergo. The first one is pre-production. We call it pre-production. Second Kak, one is... Besarkan slide. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Can you see? No? Okay, clear. Okay. Uh, the second phase is camera action and the third one is post-production. All right. From pre-production, uh, we need to uh, prepare the script. All right. We do not hafal script because uh, because nanti kita akan tergagak-gagak di depan kamera and that's why uh, it can, it cost us lot of time. Uh, saya pernah buat without script, konon-konon macam terror. Tapi sebenarnya um, satu paragraph pun kalau kita nak mengingat balik boleh ambil masa satu jam kita nak ni. So uh, I do not recommend instead uh, Write your script. Saya akan write my script dalam uh, Google Docs. Dan kemudian kita akan um, view through teleprompter. Alright. Number two, cliffhanger. Number three, facts, figures and storyline. These are the things yang um, should be inside. 
uh, the script. Dr. Nick, you might want to elaborate on this. Dr. Nick? Uh, the next, next slides because uh, for each of this part, kita oh, explain. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Now, this one adalah pre-production. Meaning that before kita buat video, we need to have a script. Okay. Uh, what kind of script yang kita nak? Okay. A script, uh, a script that contains orang kata a cliffhanger point. Uh, di mana kalau uh, kita baca skrip tu kita rasa macam ada something ataupun some word yang boleh attract people untuk tengok kita punya video. For example, sekarang kan uh, musim COVID. Kan musim COVID. So COVID-19 tu should be our cliffhanger point kat situ. Contohnya kalau kita nak bercerita pasal uh, pasal orang kata uh, Uh, gold, uh, pasal uh, emas contohnya kan. Uh, so what's, what's the issue blah 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 and relate that thing dengan COVID, COVID issues. So that uh, boleh jadikan uh, uh, script kita tu something yang macam menarik lah. Okay and then uh, next step uh, adalah uh, dalam script tu we need to have issues of uh, fact and figures. Okay. Uh, masa kita orang buat bengkel pertama dulu, uh, there is some lecturer from uh, sciences, they said that uh, doktor, uh, doktor ni kita orang dekat, dekat sciences lots of uh, uh, facts and figures, lots of uh, figures. I cakap kat dia, uh, so uh, kita kena fikir, kita kena fikir what are the figures ataupun uh, apa kata fact lah yang kita boleh bring uh, uh, untuk nampakkan kita punya script tu bukanlah script yang macam main-main. Ha. So kalau contohnya kalau kita bercakap pasal isu bankruptcy. Okay. Kalau bercakap pasal isu bankruptcy. Uh, dekat mana dekat situ yang kita boleh ambil elemen fakta figures. Kita boleh pergi kepada uh, apa case of bankruptcy in Malaysia. Amal milenial contohnya. So that kind of thing lah. Meaning that kita menyampaikan kita delivery kita punya orang kata uh, percakapan tu uh, bukan sekadar orang uh, kata Uh, melepaskan batuk di tangga. Tetapi uh, we delivering something that um, or uh, issue, something that facts and figures that we, people uh, believe on that. Oh bila kita tengok uh, figure ni, Ya Allah banyak yang bankrupt dekat Malaysia. Tengok umur yang bankrupt adalah dalam kalangan uh, milenial 20, uh, 18 ke 25. Contohnya. So people will see that, that fact and figure. In fact, This part and figure can cover our face <laughs> during uh, during our deliver uh, uh, our uh, video. Uh, kita letak ni besar-besar sikit, uh, cover. Tengoklah korang kat tu. Tengoklah korang figures tu. Alright. Uh, so step 3 adalah uh, storyline. Storyline, uh, kita kena fikirkan uh, kita punya uh, video ni hanya dalam 3 ke 5 minit sahaja. Okay. Sometimes kita buat 5 ke 7 minit. Okay. Tapi Uh, me, uh, I under time ma, we are quite comfortable if our video dalam 3 ke 5 minit sahaja. Sebab apa? Sebab uh, dekat dalam video ni nanti kita akan add on kita punya montage, kita punya welcoming, kita punya uh, intro, uh, kita punya orang kata and uh, apa tu? Uh, ending and so on so forth. So dalam kita punya storyline ni, the first thing yang kita kena include adalah uh, introduction. Uh, siapa kita? Dari mana kita? Uh, uh, so people will know lah. Lepas ni orang kata, oh this is Dr. Nick from school management from University of Central Malaysia. Okay. So the topics uh, that we want to deliver need to be very, very clear. Uh, for example, kalau sciences, dia orang ada tajuk yang sangat panjang. Ada bla 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 bla. Saya pun dengar, apa zinc chloride? Ah, zinc chloride je aku ingat. Benda lain saya ingat. So we need to uh, make it the topic simple. Uh, in order for audience to remember the topic. For example, for example, kita orang punya topic, one of the topic adalah uh, the big topic is about uh, uh, fintech ataupun Islamic fintech. So what are the elements yang kita orang nak talk about Islamic fintech adalah about peer-to-peer -peer lending. Okay. Then topic kita, topic yang kita mention dekat uh, YouTube tu mungkin kita bagi, does, does fintech contribute something? Ataupun does fintech Uh, uh, contribute positive effect ataupun uh, macam mana ada teman nak, nak bagi shot tu? Tapi nanti kita tunjuk contoh. 
Ha, okay, tak apa nanti kita tunjuk contoh. Alright. Okay, so that's that kind of thing lah yang kita perlu ada dekat dalam kita punya uh, script tu. And then contents. Content is a really, orang kata is really, uh, uh, pun pergi is really important because uh, orang kata content ni kita kita kena buat short and brief. Okay, bukanlah content sama macam textbook, sama macam kita punya slide yang kita cakap kat student. Okay, kita kena uh, short and brief. Uh, deliver a point, point, point je. Alright. And then uh, step four. Okay, ni adalah step yang uh, orang kata senang untuk kita edit video nanti. Okay, dulu uh, saya uh, masa mula-mula buat video, saya keep on uh, transferring the information, uh, the short info dekat dalam script kepada PowerPoint. Uh, so that, and then that PowerPoint pula, saya buat, uh, saya save as a image. So, saya gunakan masa editing video. Okay, that uh, zaman dulu lah saya buat macam tu. But then, uh, kalau you nak buat macam tu pun boleh juga. But then sekarang, sekarang uh, bila dah belajar banyak pasal film orang ni, so I notice that oh tak payah buat macam tu. Kita just boleh ambil dekat dalam film orang punya text tu. Kita boleh tulis kat setiap setiap. Uh, what we want, what what's design we need. Uh, all the thing dah dekat situ. So tak not necessarily to uh, to transfer your script to PowerPoint. Okay, Dr. Taima, do you have anything to add on? Okay, tak apa-apa. Right. Uh, Dr. Taima, slide. <laughs> I need Dr. Taima, camera action. Okay, uh, this is about in front of camera. Alright, um, Let's say kita dah prepare our script and we have already have our teleprompter. Alright, later I'll show you what tele teleprompter is. Okay, so step one is being in front of the camera. So basically we have to be ready lah. The position for you to be in front of the camera is not in the middle eh, bukan tengah-tengah eh. Uh, the position is should be at one third. Okay, one third. Jangan pendek sangat, jangan terlalu tinggi sangat. Jadi uh, dekat one third. Uh, of the panggil apa tu uh, camera lah eh? and environment should be conducive the mood should be okay because kadang-kadang mood memainkan peranan uh, juga alright, kalau kadang-kadang kita rasa marah sebenarnya deliver tu tak sampai delivery tu tak sampai alright, conducive environment of course, obviously we want to be uh, senyap, senyap sunyi That's why uh, kalau you do dalam studio, then it's okay because studio can be equipped with that um, noise proof tu. However, kalau dekat rumah, uh, both of us either uh, record the video early in the morning in the office before uh, colleagues datang ataupun second which is my favorite time after 12 o'clock lepas pukul 12 tengah malam uh, because Uh, kalau before 12 tengah malam, nanti bunyi kereta, siu, nanti bunyi, tak gila ada bunyi burung lah, macam-macam bunyi. So, nanti benda tu susah kita nak edit. So, it's much better untuk conducive environment. Okay, the third step, cut and trim. Actually, people thought that uh, bila kita, for example, in our, when we speak our line, sometimes kita ada, mm, ah, uh, mm, ah. Uh. Okay, last time what we did is we re-record balik. Uh, actually, tak perlu pun. Okay, you just continue. Bila you cakap, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, eh, uh, tak apa. You re-record balik from the last sentence that you have read. Okay, nanti dalam post-production, that is dalam editing, kita boleh cut dekat mana kita stop and then kita nak start balik dekat mana. So, that is cut and trim. So, it save our time, our recording time. Alright. Number four is essential gadgets. After this, I'll show you the essential gadgets that you need. No need to have ribu-ribu punya um, uh, assets or gadgets. Eh? Okay. Alright. Uh, it depends here. It depends whether you are extrovert person or introvert person. If you are extrovert person, your delivery method is you are the key person. So, if you are the key person, you have uh, facial expression memainkan peranan yang sangat Uh, besar sebenarnya okay? And then uh, you, you need to be expressive okay? Don't overdo We do not have to overdo Tapi expressive uh, Just enough to convince people that we know What we, we are talking about okay? And then um, Smile is very important Smiling is very important okay? uh, Kadang-kadang orang kata 
Alah smile je pun, no, smiling is very important to to attract viewers attention. Vocal project, projection must be clear and because we are Malaysian and our English is not like English punya ni lah, not like British, this semua. So we need to be quite slow, uh, pace, jangan uh, relax, bila bercakap tu relax, relax bercakap uh, and then um, uh, smile, when we talk, we smile, berlatih, smiling masa bercakap. Uh, teleprompter helps a lot after uh, I think lepas this one uh, I'll show what teleprompter is however if you are introvert and you are not comfortable being in front of the screen you can do behind the screen or you can just uh, inter, uh, kita panggil interframe lah eh interframe about sekejap-sekejap uh, saja, one minute, two minute and then you show your notes or you show your image or things that you want to show okay Facial expression, even though you are behind the screen, you have to smile because when you smile, people can actually hear you smiling while giving lecture. Okay, smile. Vocal projection, since people cannot see your face, okay, you must show your voice. You cannot be too monotonous, okay, tak mahu dah jadi dry sangat, okay, even though we know that subject is dry, but the challenge is, but the challenge is how to make that dry subject looks expressive, look interesting. Uh, this is actually challenge untuk science, eh? uh, pure science subjects. Yeah? And please do not use your reading voice. Kita kan ada lots of tones in our voice, so use that. Okay, use that. Um, for introvert, you do not have to use teleprompter because you can read the script. However, when you read your script, make sure that your script is in front of you and your face is facing the script, bukan you tunduk. Because when you tunduk, you punya suara dia jadi macam bergaung and then jadi macam pecah pun ada juga. So, you you need to sit straight and then read as if you are reading uh, macam depan news. News lah, ya. Yeah? Depan news. So, itulah. Hmm. Alright. <coughs> what you need to have? <clears throat> the first one is phone. Um, I'm using phone camera. Second, you need to have tripod. I'll show you what tripod is after this. <clears throat> if you are using DSLR, please invest in expensive tripod, sturdy one. However, if you are just using like mine, the normal one should be okay. The normal one costs only about 30 ringgit lah. 30 ringgit eh? I just use 30 ringgit one. Lighting. Uh, if you are using artificial lighting, artificial lighting ni maknanya... Dalam bilik, dalam bilik, you have to make sure that lighting tu cukup pencahayaan. Kalau tidak, muka nampak blur, muka nampak gelap, muka tak nampak, uh, uh, tak nampak lah, tak nampak, tak shock lah sikit ya. Eh. So lighting, kita mengadap light, bukan kita membelakangkan lighting ya. Eh. Alright, and then makeup. Well, makeup bukan makeup yang sampai merah, pipi semua, no, no, no. It's just that untuk menyantuni uh, audience lah, kita nampak presentable. Alright. And then we have green screen. Green screen is optional, but we love to use green screen. Okay, what is green screen? It adalah screen hijau. Dia, dia, ada, uh, dia ada two types of green screen. The first one yang kain punya. So, dulu saya punya ada beli yang kain. So, whenever I want to do recording, so I just gantung my kain lah. Just clip, clip kat belakang and then you dekat depan. Why we use green screen? Because first we do not want to, we want to avoid um, uh, busy background. Kan kadang-kadang kita ada gantung baju lah and then langsir pula, langsir berbunga-bunga lah semua. We want to avoid that. Okay, so we use green screen. When we use green screen, later when we edit, we can, we can put image that we want. Macam tadi Prof Azam cakap tadi dia punya pasal nak cerita pasal jerebu. So you can portray image of jerebu dekat belakang you. Okay. So lebih it, it is lebih connected uh, to your content. Okay. Green screen. Okay. Uh, tadi saya cerita the first green screen that I have is um, kain punya green screen. I think it cost around 70 ringgit and kain tu kain lain sikit lah. And then the second one, uh, I just bought uh, yang tu yang mobile punya, yang just you boleh lipat. Macam kelambu lipat tu. Macam kelambu lipat, bila, bila you buka, dia dah sturdy dah. Uh, so that is my second green screen. Okay. Teleprompter, I'll, I'll tell, show you later. 
microphone um, we invest in biasa-biasa uh, punya microphone pun tak tak microphone yang tak mahal pun biasa-biasa biasa-biasa je 20 ringgit pun boleh 5 ringgit pun boleh tapi but then try try and test try and test lah whether it suits you or not okay and then of course the success mesti tak apa success ah habis tu kira success lah the success of our our video editing the first time you do video um bukan bermakna uh, ia akan jadi okay expect failures lah oh, you want you want to talk about this nick the gadget Okay. Uh, saya rasa gadget ni kita kena tunjuk ke Kak Ima. Kak Ima. Kak Ima ada gadget dengan Kak Ima tak? Oh. Sekejap eh. Kena, kena cari. Tak, uh, kena cari. Sebab. Tak, tak, uh, tak, tak, tak ni lah. Masih berbungkus lagi gadget uh, ni. Last week saya pergi satu kedai uh, phone ni. Niat hati nak nak beli apa? Headphone untuk anak. Uh, but then saya, saya pun ternampak sekali tripod tu. So, saya tanya dia berapa ringgit tripod ni? Uh, dia kata 30 something, 32 something. So, uh, saya pun belilah tripod tu sebab tripod saya yang lama dah rosak dah. See how struggle we are. Uh, Sometimes, uh, saya uh, biasanya saya record dekat dalam bilik uh, office sebab office saya warna hijau. So, bila nak record tu agak struggle kalau saya guna tripod yang kecil. So, saya, sometimes saya kena timbul-timbulkan buku, lapik-lapikkan apa, lapik-lapikkan kerusi behind the scene kan tak nampak. So kadang tu kena letak kerusi sampai dua layer. Lepas tu baru letak tripod yang pendek tu. So I learn a lot. Jangan kalau kita, kalau apa, kalau kita nak buat secara berdiri, uh, belilah tripod yang tinggi. Uh, so uh, and then that tripod uh, yang saya beli tu, dia kata uh, dia offer kalau kita beli sekali dengan, uh, beli sekali dengan apa tu Kak Imah? Uh, ring light. Okay. Ring light. Ring light. So, so saya belilah ring light dia. Ring light tu ada a few colours. Uh, yang kita boleh pilih dekat situ lah. Dia ada warna putih, dia ada warna apa, warna medium, dia ada warna satu lagi warna macam uh, light sikit lah. So we can choose the colors but then be careful if we are wearing spat, uh, that ring light tak berapa uh, orang kata saya tak, uh, saya tak apa orang kata tak encourage lah you all untuk gunakan ring light because uh, bila kita guna ring light while we are uh, Uh, wearing our spike, it can reflect the light tu dekat mata kita. So it not is not nice lah in terms of quality. So kalau pakai spike ni, kalau nak record nanti pakai apa? Lens. Uh, tapi saya tak nak pakai lens. Saya tak pakai lens. So saya guna artificial light dekat bilik saya ni. Dekat dengan uh, tingkap. So uh, bila cerah sikit lah, saya terus uh, record. Uh, saya record uh, early in the morning. Biasanya saya akan sampai office pada pukul 7 pagi. Uh, before 8 saya kena start recording. Sebab apa? Dekat kat 8 adalah pakcik-pakcik motor rumput kat luar. Makcik cleaner bunyi jalan. Pek, pek, pek. <laughs> so it's quite orang kata mengganggu lah. Okay. Uh, next adalah kit microphone tu ni ada kat situ. Uh, saya usually I'm not uh, using uh, microphone initially. Lepas tu Prof Karim uh, cakap kat saya, Dr. Nick, uh, Dr. Nick uh, kena guna mikrofon tau untuk kuatkan ni. Saya kata, okey, okey Prof. <laughs> Lepas tu, <laughs> saya pernah cukup sekali saya beli mic tu tapi saya tak, saya tak pasang dia punya wire tu dekat phone. Ha, lepas tu saya kata, eh kuat pula suara aku ni. Macam <laughs> tak pasang pun. So, uh, lepas tu saya check dekat Filmora. Rupa-rupanya dekat Filmora tu, dia ada satu Uh, layer yang mana kita boleh adjust suara kita nak kuat ke nak, nak slow. Uh, so that kind of adjustment pun boleh buat. Kalau you all tak ada tak ada microphone pun it's okay. Uh, kita boleh adjust dekat dekat uh, Filmora punya editing nanti. Tapi um, uh, belilah microphone tu uh, ataupun guna je mic yang uh, ni uh, head, apa? headphone yang headphone pula dah earphone yang uh, Samsung punya tu pun boleh juga. Alright. Hmm. So add on ni apa ni Kaima? Add on. Uh, oh okay. okay. Uh, before that uh, when we talk about tripod, this is tripod. Okay. Uh, tripod uh, yang this one yang yang bulat ni this is ring light hmm. and uh, KineMaster ni is um, an apps, uh, editing apps that I use. Filmora here is the apps, editing apps that um, uh, Ni use, Dr. Nick use. And microphone, clip microphone. Um, uh, 
Ini pun saya baru beli juga because before this I just use this one lah. I just use this one. Lepas tu bila lama-lama macam tak cantik pula lah kan. Because sometimes when kita pakai baju colour lain, this one colour putih nampak macam agak tidak tak shock sikit lah. So that's why I ni. Alright. How uh, how did we buy this one? Shopee. Shopee and Lazada only. Uh, Kinemaster, the free version you can uh, down, uh, upload. Uh, sorry, download the free version. However, if you want to be serious, uh, you can buy, if I'm not mistaken, RM70. Uh, but I'm not sure whether it's a lifetime or not. I think it's a lifetime, RM70. Filomora, how much uh, ni, Dr. Ning? Dr. Ning, tak dengar, tak dengar. Dr. Uh, Ma, rasa yang Kena Master tu, it, it monthly ikut yang RM70 tu. Ah, tak, tak, tak. Dia once. Oh, once kan. Sama lah. Kalau Filmora pun uh, sama. Filmora dalam 400 lebih. 400 lebih lifetime. And then uh, the best thing is yang saya cakap uh, earlier, uh, kita boleh share account. Kalau kita guna hari ni, kita nak guna kat sini uh, time ni, uh, our friends and others uh, ni tak boleh nak guna lagi. So, lepas kita guna, uh, baru dah boleh guna. We can sharing account lah. Uh, satu account. Kalau kita orang kat Skirmish Management, we are sharing that account lah. Alright. Okay, post-production. Okay, post-production. You want to share? Okay. Uh, so, um, before we, uh, kata we, kita beli, before we buy uh, the apps and also the things, uh, what we have to do adalah kita, we need to uh, measure our share, uh, measure our share. Uh, either we are desktop based person ataupun kita phone based person. So kita kena tengok diri kita macam mana. So what we are what what we are want to do. Are we are we uh, comfortable using handphone or are we comfortable using desktop? Uh, for me, I'm use, I'm um, more comfortable uh, while doing editing using desktop and also PC. But Dr. Emma, very technology uh, person. Uh, she she love to use uh, her phone. Kat mana-mana pun, pun mesti ada kat tangan. Uh, so, uh, dekat apa, sambil makan pun dia boleh edit, uh, edit apa, edit video. So, uh, Dr. Emma is a phone based person macam tu. So, we have to know our suffered. Either we are desktop based ataupun phone based person. And, uh, we need to plan uh, if we subscribe ataupun if, no sorry, if we uh, bought this uh, application, uh, how many times we want to use that thing? Adakah kita nak guna sekali je ke ataupun uh, kita akan keep on using that thing? So we have to plan that one lah. Kalau we want to use it uh, continuously, uh, it's a good uh, for us to invest uh, some money lah untuk beli, uh, especially for the lifetime punya uh, application. Alright, sekali so, kalau for last time ni kita banyak sekali je, we just put investment for one time uh, but we can continually, continuously using uh, that kind of uh, application. And again, we have to survey. Okay, uh, ni penting ni untuk kita sebagai educators. <laughs> uh, keep on survey the price. Okay, uh, kita survey, uh, there's a lot of uh, applications that we can use in editing video. So, um, before uh, we buy the application, let's survey the price first. Uh, yang mana lagi orang kata lagi murah but then at the same time promise us a very quality things that we want to do on that uh, application. Okay, so keep on uh, surveying lah uh, compare price. Yang ni murah ke, yang ni mahal ke. Uh, before saya beli, uh, saya, saya beli film moral tu saya dah survey. Saya kata ah, ni paling murah ni, ni ah, lifetime pula tu dia bagi lah. Tak payah beli dah tak payah fikir lah. Sekali investment saja. So that's why I'm using Filmora. And then uh, of course subscribe lah. Uh, right? Okay next so tema. Okay ni adalah apps yang ada untuk uh, kita edit video. Kita ada Filmora uh, like I'm using. Uh, Dr. Emma using Kinemaster. Okay, uh, that's a gambar Kinemaster lah, application ni. Kita ada Beyond. Uh, Beyond ni, uh, there's uh, one of the lecturers saya rasa yang guna Beyond ni dekat HBP. Okay, uh, boleh masuk kartun-kartun kat sini. Uh, Potun, Potun pun sama. Okay, more, orang kata more attractive lah. But as far as I'm concerned, since I, as I know, uh, this Beyond and Potun ni, uh, dia tak ada untuk lifetime. Uh, dia ada hanya um, 
orang kata monthly basis. Uh, in fact, kalau kita uh, kita beli sekali buat application ni, while while doing editing, uh, at last dia punya apa ni kan dia punya tagline ke? Dia punya apa tu yang ada kat bawah tu dia punya logo kan? Ha ha. Ha dia punya logo tu tak remove, still there. Sebab for people orang yang kena master, if we bought them, uh, the logo ataupun the brand tu automatically remove. And then another things yang application ada kat sini adalah clip champ. Saya tak biasa guna clip champ ni. So saya tak boleh nak explain details lah. But then this is one of the applications yang mana kita boleh guna untuk kita edit kita punya video. So the choice is your. So you can uh, decide which are the application that you want to use, that you comfortable to use and um, might be this is a long learning. Because uh, as we know COVID, we do not, we do not know uh, when it will end. So I think uh, by hook or by crook, we have to buy these kinds of applications in order to make learning more interesting. Okay, that's it, Mark. I think kita dah cakap pasal ni kan, free material ni kan tadi. Okay, saya mahu YouTube. Saya mahu YouTube pun okay. ni. <laughs> okay, why YouTube? Why I use YouTube and why I encourage everybody use YouTube is because uh, because of the storage. The It is cloud storage, it's free storage and then you don't have to worry uh, whether uh, your videos akan hilang atau tidak. Right, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, inshallah YouTube uh, YouTube will sustain quite for a long time, for a longer time. Right? And ramai masalahnya dekat e-learning. Okay, contoh kita masuk sekejap e-learning. Let's say you produce your video and then you upload dalam e-learn. Okay, first the problem is when you share dekat e-learn, um, it is it is the storage is stored. Uh, the, the data is stored dekat e-learn punya storage. Okay, jadi that's what makes bila orang lain semua masuk, dia jadi bottleneck, dia punya dia punya jalan tu dia jadi jam sikit dekat e-learn. Alright, whereas kalau you bubuh dekat YouTube, um, you can just post the link. And then when you post the link, when students click, they just go to YouTube punya storage. Jadi dia tidak mengganggu um e-learning punya platform punya uh, perjalanan tu okay alright uh, ada orang tanya eh kalau masuk youtube nanti semua orang lah boleh tengok muka kita no <laughs> tak semestinya okay first if we decide to make it public then it will be public if we decide to be unlisted it means that just to show to certain people then, then we just click the unlisted and if let's say we have private videos, then we click dekat private videos. Okay, what is private videos? Private videos ni macam dalam satu YouTube ni let's say uh, macam we all selalu buat contohnya anak punya kerja. Tapi kita tak nak buat, buat account lain. Kita still nak masukkan dalam account YouTube kita. So kita make it private. Jadi orang lain, our subscribers cannot see our private uh, videos. Okay, let's say unlisted. Unlisted videos uh, adalah contoh video, you cerita-cerita video but then tapi you are not that sure whether you cerita tu betul ke tidak. You still ada that certain degree of doubts dekat situ and then you do not want to risk um, the videos uh, to be exposed and then to be criticized heavily by public. So you just un uh, unlist it and then share just to your specific audience saja. Public, okay, public lah. Okay, public, public. Uh, that's why I love using uh, YouTube. Okay, dekat sini yang we can click sama ada we want to do private, we want to do unlisted or we want to do public. Uh, macam contoh, if let's say after this you are going to work with somebody else, uh, macam kami contoh dengan Bank Rakyat or dengan Yapim, um, of course those videos are copyrighted. It is It belongs to both of the organization. So we make it private. We do not, we make it, sorry, unlisted. Uh, we do not share with the public. Uh, tapi still, guna, guna use one account. So, okay lah. Alright. Uh, use Google site yang tadi, I dah share. Alright. Okay, I continue sikit ni baru tambah uh, tadi. Kenapa uh, I encourage everybody to do video? Uh, regardless whether your face is in front of the video or behind the video. Right, because we go back to basic where 
only 20% people, 20% of what they hear comes from listening. 30% uh, of what they see comes from uh, visualizing, tengok, okay, seeing. And an amazing 70% is from what they see and hear. So we want to, to capture audience with uh, this one, 70%. Hopefully, they watch our video and they listen to our video. Okay. Why videos work? Kenapa video video works? I think uh, earlier I showed to everybody, I shared with everybody that one of my videos, fintech videos, uh, has high number of viewers, 1,400 viewers. Um, tanya juga, kenapa eh rasa-rasanya? But I think it is because people wants to search about that one. Okay, sometimes people wants to search, want to listen and not wanting to read. So that's why they search videos and then they found my videos. So that's why my videos get high hit for that particular topics lah. Tapi topik selain tu uh, agak slow lah. But it doesn't it doesn't matter. Uh, our intention is not to uh, tarik banyak audience actually kan. Uh, the main one is kita tunaikan tanggungjawab kita untuk deliver. Right. This is video engagement timeline. You might want to say, eh bila nak masuk title, bila nak masuk ni semua-semua-semua ni. So it goes back, kita link balik dengan what Dr. Nick says tadi. Alright. Let's say we have 10 minute videos eh. So uh, what should we put in the videos? The first one is intro. The first phase ni intro. Okay. Intro. My name is ni semua-semua-semua. Alright. And then we estimate title. Later I show you what type of uh, sentence that we can uh, use if you want to do the title, things like that. And then the third one is framing the problem. It goes back macam ingat tak kita buat research, we have to, we started dengan uh, research problem. Macam tu juga dengan video. We want to get people's attention, so we want to relate um, our topic dengan hari-hari biasa, dengan kejadian harian. For example, let's say tadi kalau cerita pasal anatomy, apa yang apa yang boleh relate dengan anatomy? Tadi cerita pasal jerebu, apa yang kita boleh relate dengan jerebu yang 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 orang marhain, orang-orang biasa boleh relate. Okay, frame the problem. And then after three minutes, uh, this is where our content, our real content comes in. We offer them solutions with examples. Uh, this is where we should hook them. We should hook audience attention. Uh, kita, pro, kita offer solution. Okay, first jangan keluar. Second, be careful. Third, something, something, something. Okay, okay offer solution. And last one is call to action. Call to action lebih kurang macam kita recap balik lah. Kita recap balik the topics that we do in the video. Okay, and uh, dan juga things yang macam credits and then things like um, jangan lupa subscribe. Uh, benda macam tu lah sebenarnya. Alright. Um, just now I uh, I give my opinion to 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 uh, Dr. Um, Maizura and also Dr. Uh, Lai on the topic. Okay. Doing micro credential and doing YouTube education uh, tube ni uh, challenge dia adalah on how to turn your academic topics to sort or sort of sales thing lah eh. Contoh, topic is investment tools in finance. I think if millennials baca tu, kalau millennials biasa baca tu, they they cannot relate, they cannot relate uh, with them. However, if I change it to five ways on how you can make money via investing, that one will relate them because people um, like to make money and then uh, they want to try to make money through investing. All right. And here I give solution. I give some sort of opinion. Five ways on how they can make money via investing. Apa content dalam tu? Content ni sama tadi dengan content investment tools tadi. Uh, contohnya shares. You can make money through shares, through bonds, through real estates, through mutual funds. Things like that. Tetapi kita turn it uh, dalam content YouTube da dalam bentuk yang lebih uh, uh, M40 and B40 friendly. Ah, macam tu. Contoh topik uh, ni adalah Arah Nu, Islamic Pawn Shop. 
eh, Aranu. So people might, ala Aranu ni kita dah tahu. Tapi how to get their attention, audience attention is kita change the sales topic. Expanding wealth with your extra goal. Sama je kan? Maknanya kita ambil extra goal, kita pergi dekat Aranu. Kan? Kita pergi, kita, kita, kita mortgage benda tu. Tetapi kita nak make it application, applicable. So, we change the topic to expanding wealth with your extra goal, for example. Uh, and then, uh, I also did this earlier. I I, I told that um, dalam my uh, selecting, uh, selecting uh, major session, uh, kita kena bagi tahu kan, chairman kena bagi tahu, encourage students to choose finance session, for example. So, I came out with one video. I write there. Five exclusive reasons why finance should be your career choice. Uh, so, so actually, uh, dengan kita punya body language, dengan kita punya explanation, dengan kita punya facts, you can actually cram those things in five minutes, five to seven minutes, and that video can be used every semester. So, you tak letih lah sebenarnya. Alright? Alright. So, in the nutshell, actually, First, you need to think, okay, regardless of your topics, all topics ada interest. Uh, okay, ada interesting, interesting thing. Kalau topik tu tak interesting, tak adalah kita nak belajar topik tu, betul tak? Tak adalah kita nak expert dalam topik tu. For example, kita nak cerita pasal kelawar, kan? Tetapi, apa yang menyebabkan kita nak study pasal kelawar? So, we have to go down to that level. What makes your topic interesting to audience? Walaupun kita kata engineering, uh, macam ni, macam ni, macam ni. Tapi, apa yang interestingnya? Kenapa you belajar benda tu? Kenapa kita ni shock sangat nak mengajar benda tu? So, we must translate it. Kita, we must show to the audience that topic ni sangat best. You all kena, uh, kena belajar. Alright. But then, uh, more to what is how to that benefits your audience. Uh, it means, Uh, audience macam saya beritahu tadi Audience um, Dia tak ada dah remember Cognitive level 1, cognitive level 2 Dia terus application So we provide things like macam How to uh, Katalah tadi buat cerita pasal anatomy Let's cerita pasal lutut for example Maybe you can cakap um, Cerita pasal how to um, How to Macam berlari pantas ke lutut And how to something ke I don't know what's interesting in your topics kan So, uh, kita make it more application based rather than uh, cognitive level 1, cognitive level 2. Right. Uh, the third one, why do you think audience should know your video? Okay, again, goes back to the first one. Kenapa yang kita rasa audience akan interested dengan kita punya video? Why? Alright. So, uh, ni. So, dalam VET tadi, VET tadi. Uh, Alright. First, uh, normally lah, normally, but uh, tak selalunya, uh, kita introduce ourselves. Okay, you can say that. Assalamualaikum and hi everybody. Welcome to Imazul and Finance Channel. Ah, uh, macam tu. Okay, kalau kita just cakap macam uh, Assalamualaikum dan hi semua. Ah, uh, kan, benda tu macam biasa, right? Uh, kita tengok eh, macam Kairul Amin kan? Kairul Amin kan? Dia ada dia punya tagline sendiri. Assalamualaikum, what's up guys? Uh, things macam tu. Ataupun, uh, buatlah kita punya own tagline, okay, uh, yang tersendiri. And then, your intro title. Alright, here, you might want just to say, I am Emma and in this video, I'm going to share with you five ways on how you can make money via investing, via investment, for example. You may, you don't have to spell out your name, I mean, cakap nama penuh because uh, kita boleh letak sebenarnya nama kat bawah. Banyak, uh, type lah nama kat bawah semua tu. Alright. Um, and then kita pergi dekat gate case tadi, yang framing problem framing problem tadi, case. Uh, this is macam buat yang Dr. Nick beritahu tu lah. Kita cerita case. Imagine the world with This is one. Ataupun, what if I tell you, da -da 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 -da. or do you know that less than 20% youth, da -da 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 -da. okay, so mean that we use framing, uh, we frame the problem to become our attention grabber. Uh, so that, diorang boleh relate lah. 
the audience M40, B40 boleh relate dengan apa yang kita nak cerita. Alright. And then solution, it means the hook is our real content. Five ways. The first way, second way, third way, fourth way, fifth way. Uh, five ways. Right. So CTA, the last one. Call to action, uh, dah kita cerita-cerita-cerita, of course lah kita nak diorang tu buat ataupun implement apa yang kita ajar. So, last uh, the last one you can, the last for the last script you can cakap, so guys, let's expand our wealth now and I'm sure by using all these tips that uh, that I've shared with you, okay, you are going to expand your wealth, you are going to be financial freedom. Uh, things macam tu. So those are the things lah yang actually uh, we have been doing lah uh, all this while. Hmm, itu saja Nick. Saya punya sharing. Ada tema satu lagi yang kita tertinggal. Hmm. Dekat intro tu kita kena cakap don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Ah, <laughs> itu selalunya kami macam lupa juga. But uh, tapi ah uh, sometimes kalau tak tak cakap pun boleh kan ni kan kita kita letak ikon kat situ ha, okay. boleh boleh kita letak ikon dan itu boleh itu. dilakukan itu sebenarnya boleh dilakukan and actually it's simple okay hmm okay any question Assalamualaikum Dr. Dr. Emba dan Dr. Nick. Ah, saya Maizura. So yang lepas tu saya pernah attend sebelum ni yang tahun lepas tu saya belajar guna Filmora dengan Kemaster tu. So balik tu saya terus buat. <laughs> so saya memang sebesungguh-sungguh buat. Lepas tu saya ada lah beberapa contoh video yang saya buat. I, uh, mungkin saya boleh share mungkin uh, Dr. Emba dan Dr. Nick boleh komen? Boleh ke? Pause kan? Okay, okay. kita share. Okay, so yang ini memang, uh, dia memang tak tahu kenapa bila start recording je jantung akan berdengut kuat. <laughs> lepas tu suara dia keketak-ketak lepas tu dia memang uh, Masa ni memang buat dekat school, so memang susah dari segi lighting uh, Lampu pun berbunyi-bunyi, aircon mesti off Lepas tu bila matahari tu redup je kena off uh, video Lepas tu kena sama bilik bila matahari okey So yang ini yang saya try buat terus lah bila habis proses tu uh, terus saya buat So boleh uh, kalau kita dengar dia memang uh, banyaklah kena improve My name is Mezura Murad from Food Technology Division, School of Industrial Technology, University Science Malaysia. So, this module is about an overview of the uh, halal industry. So, this module covers two lessons. Number one is a halal industry and number two is a global halal hub. So, in this uh, lesson number one, you will learn about uh, several categories on halal industry and how to ensure halal integrity in the food chain. So there are many types of Malaysian standards that are widely used as a guideline by companies to ensure the product is remain halal throughout the uh, process of supply chain management. Oh, panjang sangat kejap saya. <laughs> so dia punya end up macam ni lah. Eh, tak apa-apa, tak apa-apa. If you're interested to learn more about this topic, let's dive in. Okay, thank you. So, uh, yang yang bila bila dah buat uh, slide ni, saya rasa macam, oh dah bangga dah dah buat kan. Bila dah tinggal lama tengok balik macam, apa ni macam baca. Lepas tu dia macam, uh, apa, mata dah dah, dah, dah hilang confused semua. Lepas tu, and then memang, memang kalau dengar memang boring lah. Tapi itu hari ni punya kom, uh, apa, komen, uh, segala tip tu sangat sangat bantu untuk saya improve lagi saya punya uh, Uh, saya punya video ni. Ah. Oh. Okey, dah tahu. Alah, alah. Okeylah dulu nak tengok gambar. <laughs> ya? Yeah? Dr. Baizura, apa ni? Okey, several things that you might want to improve macam universe tadi kan. Uh, <laughs> itu itu bukan you seorang. Kita orang pun yang dah selalu buat pun macam tak apa, -apa je walaupun walaupun in front us tak ada siapa-siapa pun sebenarnya kan. Ah, uh, so <laughs> So my thing is just relax, just relax and because kita berdiri actually 
um, sometimes when we berdiri bila kita terlalu berdiri tegak itu yang menyebabkan kita kaku you look stiff just now you look agak very stiff just now macam control je so tak apa relaxkan kaki and then bila cerita tu kepala boleh goyang cuma jangan over sangat lah nanti dia agak mengganggu kan kepala boleh goyang boleh teling sikit okay no problem and then uh, put put dalam kertas tulis smile lekatkan dekat dekat kamera tadi tu so bila you cerita sambil you smile semua tu and relax relax slowly 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 macam kita nak cerita dekat orang lain ah uh, slowly okay and then uh, muka tu tadi uh, you will get comment ah uh, nanti you will get comment dekat muka Alright, so what you can do is belakang sikit, okay, belakang sikit and then kecilkan sikit our, the, the image, our image lah, basically, datangkan sikit. Uh, sampai pinggang pun okay sebenarnya. And then use tangan, use gesture. Senyum, you boleh bergerak, don't worry. Just bergerak and then uh, show that, uh, ni, uh, show show some gestures lah. Uh, so for example, macam macam Dr. Nick selalu buat macam, hmm. Ah, macam tu. So, so you can always do that. And then uh, topic tu, topic tu agak akademik, agak akademik. Okay. Uh, you can put that one tetapi cuba letak dalam uh, dalam bracket. Kan? Dalam bracket. But yang, yang nak, 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 nak grab attention tu, you might change to halal industry. Do we need? Do we need halal industry? Things macam tu. And then you pull pun dalam, dalam kurungan tu. Overview of halal industry. Okay. Because you nak you nak catch uh, uh, audience punya attention. Because dalam YouTube bukan student kita saja yang tengok kan. Uh, you will surprise that your YouTube will be viewed by people from Russia. People from uh, from Canada. People from Africa. Okay. So if you put attention grabber macam tu kan. Um, it it helps a lot. Uh, it helps uh, people viewing your mail banyak lah. Hmm. Nek, jatuh ni. Apa? Ya, tak tahu nak cakap. <laughs> okay, tadi. Uh, uh. Ha, Dr. Mazura, saya tengok video tu interesting. Bila saya tengok ubat tu ada warni kan. Cakap, ya Allah, ubat tu ada warni. <laughs> Best juga. Okay. Uh, tadi, uh, last kali tu, saya perasan Dr. Mazura tekan, tekan phone eh? Ya, ya, ya. Sebab so, tu dekat kot, saya letak, uh, saya letak um, uh, uh, dekat supaya saya boleh turn on and turn off. Tak payah, tak payah risau benda tu. Okay, uh, next time, bila nak record, um, Tekan uh, mula dengan tekan tu tu biar pi dia tak apa. Yang penting kita duduk dekat kita punya position. Uh, biar je dia nak record kita bergerak ke apa ke tak apa. Once uh, kita nak ready nak start, okay, kita start. Sebab apa? Sebab benda-benda tu nanti kita boleh cut. Uh, sebab tu lah saya rasa that's why Dr. Mazura duduk dekat sangat dengan phone tadi. Dia nampakkan image kita besar tak nampak slim. Uh, kita kena nampak kurus. Komen. <laughs> so teknik dia kena apa? Uh, kena bahu ni macam menyerong sikit. Uh, uh, so hmm. tadi uh, apa? Uh, macam Dr. Iman cakap tadi lah. Hands, hands, gesture yeah, pun tak ada. Uh, lepas tu saya perasan uh, satu lagi uh, uh, apa tu? Uh, topik, uh, topik pada <laughs> tajuk tu static je. While, while Dr. Mazura introduce uh, benda lain, tak ada pun sambut naik kat tepi tu. Macam apa? Uh, tunjuk ubat dengan um, part tiga tu je yang ada kat situ. So tak ada pun macam benda-benda lain naik kat, kat tepi. Contohnya tadi, Dr. Mazura cakap pasal objektif kan? Okay. Okay, the objective of this uh, topic is about, okay, at least uh, naikkan lah apa, word dekat tepi tu. Okay, about halal product. Uh, macam tu. So that kind of thing nanti esok kita buat macam mana nak naik-naikkan benda-benda tu. Uh, while we are talking, there are some words appearing beside us. Okay, Dr. Mazura uh, boleh juga nanti instead of guna uh, static picture as a background, kita juga boleh guna video. Uh, kita boleh guna ubat, apa video ubat ataupun benda-benda uh, berpusing kat belakang tu kan. Uh, saya ada satu video pasal COVID-19 saya buat virus tu berpusing-pusing kat belakang saya. Oh. So nanti kita boleh um, 
uh, we look lah on this kind of thing. But then uh, it's a good effort. Uh, bagus lah kan? Uh, at least kita dah try. Kita orang dulu pun sama macam tu Steve. Apa nak cakap ni lah. Bergetar-getar suara saya masa first bagi video Dr. Emma. Dr. Emma kata, ni kenapa nak bersangat ni? <laughs> Padahal tak ada orang tengok pun. Ha, tapi kita biasa lah kan. Dia macam bila tengok muka kita sendiri kat kamera tu tak puas hati. Alah cepat lah cepat lah. <laughs> ha, okay. okay. Alright. Um, sikit sikit sikit. Uh, ending tadi kan. Okay, selanjutnya ending yang uh, saya akan buat adalah uh, macam ni, I'll, uh, um, lebih kurang macam uh, so uh, till next time uh, don't forget uh, don't forget to watch the next video. So saya akan bagi cue kepada TV saya macam okay bye bye uh, macam orang gila pun ada kan bye bye depan kamera <laughs> kan bye bye kan senyum and then you let it dalam tiga saat you let dalam tiga saat empat saat lepas tu baru baru you pergi tutup ha, nanti masa kita edit ah nanti masa kita edit tu kita boleh edit stop dekat yang kita babai jadi kita tak nampaklah tangan kita tu pergi ke tepi ah macam tu hmm. so don't worry lah sis benda 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 tu kita boleh edit lah nanti kita boleh potong-potong-potong ah trim tu penting Hmm. Apa, uh, kita orang pun bila baca skrip tu ada cakap um, ah, ah, Apa ni lah, ah, tak tak tak, ah, telefon kita jangan laju Tapi kita orang biarkan je recording tu berjalan Sebab apa, sebab after this we can trade Alah ni tak penting, ni cut 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 Okay, so benda tu boleh cut, don't worry hmm. Okay, uh, sedih in last year note Ada soalan dekat uh, ni, dekat chatbot ni Dah hilang, kena buat baru Memang lagi tu apa? Uh, mungkin poin poin apa daripada CDE boleh jawab kot ni? Uh, saya tak pasti notes apa eh? Prof Azam. Okay, Prof Azam. Note apa ya Prof Azam? Lecture notes. Lecture notes dari dari daripada mana ya Prof? Maksudnya di e-learn ke? Sekejap, Prof tak jawab lagi. Ada tu, uploaded by weeks. Oh ya ke? Oh ni e-learn kot e-learn? E-learn. E-learn boleh tengok dekat archive Prof. Dekat soal kot tadi dah Prof. Hello? Hello, saya hmm. dah dapat line eh. Saya dapat line sikit. Ah, okay. Hello, uh, boleh dengar lah. Dengar, dengar apa? Soalan, soalan saya tu, uh, tanya sendiri because of tadi ada sebut e-learn. So, bila kita letak dalam e-learn, nota-nota kita yang tahun lepas punya uh, untuk subjek yang sama lah. Bila tahun ni tengok everything dia hilang. Dia tak ada. So, we have to start fresh lah. Masukkan balik, you know, week 1, week 2 sampai week 14 lah. So, is that uh, apa, something yang Memang SOP dia begitu ataupun there's a way uh, untuk retain uh, the, the note so that uh, apa nama tu penggunaan video tu taklah nak kena upload again and again kalau kita dia, dah buat video lah. Dia, dia, dia memang macam tu Prof. Every semester kita akan buat baru lah untuk e tu tapi kita boleh guna function backup and restore daripada sem lepas dan kita restore masuk dalam semester ni. Jadi semua notes tu akan ada dekat semester yang baru ni lah Prof. Tak payah nak upload satu-satu. Dapat dengar tak Prof? Okay, fine, fine, sorry. Uh, okay, I can hear you. You can hear me tak? Boleh dengar? Boleh, boleh. Boleh, boleh eh? okay. Uh, that function, uh, apa nama tu? Yang restore tadi tu. Alright, it is in the, in e-learn lah. Ya, yeah, betul, betul. Okay, I will try to find uh, because uh, yang lepas-lepas ni I, I need to do it again. Eh? So, bila dah buat video, is it we have to uh, apa nama tu upload again and again afterwards lah. Oh, okay. Sebab dalam YouTube CDA pun kita ada letak tutorial how to backup and restore. Nanti Prof boleh cari dalam YouTube tu. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Prof.
upload it there with. Okay, any questions? Ada soalan lagi? Nak kongsi bahasa Korea Jepun ke? <laughs> So, saya mahu macam mana? Kita nak end the session ke? Kita nak tanya soalan lagi ke? Ataupun? You oh, want to share yeah. something? Ah, uh, tak ada kot. Aku dah uh, share but, everything uh, lah. Ah, uh, uh, rasa share. Dah ada share everything. And then, esok kita akan go technically dekat ni lah. Cuma, sekejap what is that? Oh, okay. Um, Uh, hopefully bila COVID dah dah tak ada nanti Okay kita boleh buat face to face uh, So that we can actually uh, lebih share Apa yang dimaksudkan dengan how to write writing Because uh, last time when we did on face to face We realized that um, uh, Not we realized The participants sendiri yang realize that Macam eh susah juga sebenarnya nak cakap Ah, benda macam tu. So, we want to tackle that issue sebenarnya. Uh, selagi kita tak buat, uh, kita rasa macam, alah benda ni cakap saja. Tapi sebenarnya, it's uh, it's quite um, hustle juga walaupun kita nampak senang kan. Kita ingat macam, oh cakap dalam TV macam tu saja. But then, agak-agak um, payah jugalah. Uh, kita belum sentuh lagi on the content, the reliability of the content. Uh, for example, kami whenever we want to write down tu, kalau ikut cakap biasa, when we just uh, nak cerita macam biasa je, it's senang. Tetapi bila kita nak masuk something yang yang agak factual tu, uh, memang kena betul-betul lah. Okay, this is facts, this is from somewhere-somewhere uh, reliable. Because uh, we are we are afraid of the risk of people yang lebih tahu di luar sana attacking us back. And kita tak boleh jawab. Uh, yang tu yang kita takut. Uh, yang tu kita takut sebenarnya. Hmm. Dia ada, ada servis uh, yang Because ini kebanyakannya macam seolah-olah we have to do ourselves kan So ada servis ke yang uh, yang CDE ke PTPTM ke you know that they come to our lecture and record you know Right and uh, right and then it can be uh, uploaded uh, untuk untuk ni Terutama sekali yang ada F, F, apa, face to face lah yeah? Because yelah kami dah teaching berpuluh-puluh tahun tiba-tiba Buat video. Uh, nak buat video ni dia, orang tua-tua ni dia payah sikit lah kan. Uh, tempat, yeah. uh, it is challenging. Cuma saya nak tanya ada tak that that type of uh, service uh, offered by CDAE or PTPTM you know, untuk, untuk. Kita, <laughs> kita dah tanya banyak kali juga actually Prof. Uh, yeah. Benda ni kepada Prof Karim. Habis tu tapi macam yeah. uh, Prof Karim kata macam tak ada lagi and things macam tu lah. Uh, uh, I I wish every every PTJ I wish lah I wish every PTJ should have uh, macam kita panggil kita panggil job ni sebagai uh, videographer or editor lah atau editor macam ni kan so that we can just concentrate on writing the script and record saja but hmm. edit edit tu kita bagi dia orang buat lah saja kan. Jadi um, ini ni terkial kial sikit ya. You know? uh, Dahlah kita terkial 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 is one thing. And then I, I I don't think that is uh, our focus pun. Our focus is more on delivering the knowledge and also apa uh, ni research. Okay. Bila exactly. bila kawan-kawan we we can understand bila kawan-kawan macam agak reluctant nak buat benda ni because because of the technical technical hustle tu hustle mm -hmm. tu susah sikit. And um, uh, last time bila saya tanya nak uh, kalau kita upah edit oh upah edit very very mahal uh, thousand one thousand one thousand five hundred hmm. per video five to seven minutes okay itu baru the first round itu belum lagi yang kita rasa kita tak puas hati we want to re-edit we want them to re-edit it will incur cost lagi uh, so I think that is one of the Uh, limitation lah kot daripada pihak universiti because when we want to engage people in this thing um, they need to pay quite a huge amount lah but I wish um, nanti kita akan ada lah so that kita boleh concentrate balik on our focus as I said just now delivering the knowledge rather than do the 
technical editor. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks for the answer. Alhamdulillah. Uh, yang uh, tadi, I remember you, uh, some, apa, somebody mentioned about IP. Kita hmm. kena register IP for this one. It's not, it's not compulsory IP, right? Uh, no, no. We we don't have to uh, except for macam when when we bekerjasama dengan outsiders, when we bekerjasama dengan uh, outsiders, kita orang uh, file for copyright because we do not want them to use our videos for profit making purposes. Uh, we don't want that. Uh, kita akan ada kalau misalnya prof uh, dia orang nak buat microdential dengan engineering for example nanti akan encounter some capitalist ni yang in fact nak nak kita keluarkan nama logo USM pun ada. Ah dia nak macam kita ni be part of the organization. Ah dekat situ antara challenge yang kita kena bergaduh dengan dia lah. Kita macam kata no this is USM punya. So we want to retain this one and that's um, <coughs> itu dah timbulnya saya bincang dengan Nick oh ni tak boleh jadi kita kena buat copyright. Because kita tak tahu nanti dia orang ambil video kita, cut-cut video kita and then they use for their own um, profit making thing lah. Dia orang boleh buat seminar out of our videos. So I, we do not want that lah. Rugilah USM. Hmm. I see. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Thank you very much for the answer. Terima kasih. Hmm, no uh, prof, prof dari kejut kan? Huh? Prof dari kejuteraan kan? Engineering kan? Oh yes. Yeah. Saya daripada civil. Okay, uh, saya rasa uh, masa kita orang pernah buat uh, for the, our first workshop hari tu there is one lecturer, associate professor daripada Kejut uh, dia kata, dia uh, just buat recording dengan script saja untuk editing, dia pass kat student untuk buat so dia bayar student lah uh, the student dia bayar dalam 5 ke 6 ratus macam tu lagi murah daripada dia bayar professional lah <laughs> dia, dia, dia upah student, but then Let untuk Pre-editing memang tak ada. Memang tak ada lagi kita kena buat lah bro. <laughs> nah, kita, kita, I'm thinking along the line uh, hmm. apa nama tu ramai yang working at home. Betul. Kan, betul. Yang non, non apa yang kita punya technical staff dan sebagainya. Maybe we can utilize them while they are at home. Right to do the work. Hmm. Kan. Tapi kan bro kalau kerja kat rumah lagi teruk sebenarnya. <laughs> exactly. Saya dah kerja kat rumah daripada tahun lepas. Eh. So, so memang apa uh, very challenging. Alright. Yeah, um, Ya, yeah, very challenging uh, dengan apa Lagi. nama tu email yang datang uh, sentiasa. Lagi-lagi uh, kalau respond. ada anak-anak kecil ni ha, start apa? Ha, ah, ni one saya masih dah tak ada lah. Ha. Anak kecil pada umur tahun tu. Saya still passing that 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 conditions lah. Nak, baru je nak buka laptop tak? Umi, adik lapar lah. Baru je nak nak edit video. Umi, adik ya. Sebab hmm? <laughs> <laughs> sudah saya But, uh, saya very comfortable yeah. bila working uh, early in the morning lah dalam pukul 2 ke 3 pagi saya akan bangun buat kerja. That time, uh, that time memang orang tidur. Tidur lena betul so masa tu lah saya boleh fokus buat kerja. Exactly that's a challenge. Yeah. Cuma satu lagi kalau apa uh, yang uh, kalau uh, mereka nak gunakan student hmm. boleh tapi nanti student kita punya kerja dia tak siap. Uh. Right, uh, because uh, many of them are apa, research uh, assistant, eh? GRA hmm. eh? So, dia orang cari duit lebih, uh, kerja tu tak siap. So, uh, normally I will avoid that lah. Kan, using student untuk kerja-kerja kita eh? because they have their own work and they have to focus on their work. Right, hmm. not, not uh, doing something else outside their punya research lah. Kan, hmm. during weekend okay lah tapi uh, uh, I think still ada risiko lah. Betul. Uh, so, uh, tapi kan Prof, kalau kita edit video kita sendiri, seronok tak Prof? Nanti esok kan, kalau Prof masuk kita orang punya kelas ni, start je Prof dah pandai lah. Haa, kecap je. Ah, saya nak tanya tu mana nak cari yang Filmora tu memang ada ke besok provided lah? Or we have to... Uh, uh, Filmora kan, kan apa, Kena Master tu? Kena download Prof. Google Play. Say again please. Download dekat Google Play. Tak dengar sekali lagi. Saya tulis lah. Saya type. Ha, type, type. <laughs> saya tak boleh dengar. Tak apa, type. Dekat chat, Prof. Dekat chat. Ah, okay. Download di Google Play. Okay, bye. Ah, bye. Okay. Thank you. Alright. So, uh, for uh, tomorrow session, untuk yang join kita orang punya editing process, Uh, we are hope that uh, each of you uh, come with uh, prepared material 
uh, for example, what kinds of uh, video you want to add in, uh, what kinds of uh, pictures, semua tu dah complete ada dah. Supaya nanti um, it won't it won't distract our time lah. So kita boleh edit dengan cepat sikit. Cik. Sebab benda sebab bila benda dah ada dalam satu file, uh, senang lah kita nak cari. Okay kat sini, kat sini, kat sini, kat sini. Okay, kalau you all nak buat montage, uh, yang apa, yang bling-bling yang mula-mula tu kan. Uh, so please pergi dekat Envato, pergi dekat Envato, tengok video dekat situ, uh, ada apa, uh, part video. So you boleh choose lah uh, which one you want and uh, email the address to Puan Hazwani. So Puan Hazwani bagi kat you, uh, so you have the ni right lah untuk edit the, that kind of uh, video to, be, uh, to become your own montage. Okay. So Tema, anything to add on? Uh, no, tak ada. Esok semua join kita orang punya editing ke? I think they are looking forward for editing kot kan? I think uh, lah. So tak apa. Bertenang ya, bertenang. Tak buat saya nak. Ah, good pro apa? Uh, Puan Halimeto dah share how to get the embedded elements dekat YouTube thing. CPD point nanti aku CPD. Kita orang dapat CPD point juga ke? Tiba-tiba eh. Thank you Dr. Jenny. Untunglah ada nak tolong editkan. <laughs> nak upah boleh? <laughs> okay Dr. Ima dengan Dr. Ni kalau tak nak apa kita we shall end this session ya. Okay alright. Okay. Thank, you, thank you very much Dr. Ima, Dr. Ni uh, sangat menarik sharing petang ni. Saya rasa besok uh, memang ramai yang tak sabar-sabar. Saya rasa besok uh, apa, dia punya menarik, dia level menarik tu akan bertambah ni. So, oh, terima, kasih. <laughs> uh, terima kasih semua juga kepada, kepada semua partisipan kita yang telah bersama-sama dari pagi sampai ke petang ni. So, jangan lupa besok uh, 9.30 kalau yang bagi tahu kat kawan-kawan yang tak sign up pun masih rasa masih boleh sign up lah. Kalau hmm. just, uh, Puan Liza, kita orang kena isi yang uh, CPD point ni juga ke? CDP, uh, CPD point tu untuk uh, peserta Dr. Nick. Ah, okay, alright. Uh, uh, okay. Good lah kena kita orang isi. <laughs> tak perlu. So, okay. uh, kalau tak ada apa-apa, terima kasih sekali lagi. Uh, kita jumpa besok. Stay, stay safe everyone. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum. Terima kasih semua. Jumpa esok insyaAllah. Bye. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum. Tak